Oh, well, up bright and early this morning, guys. We're gonna head out today. Zero degrees, no snow. We're gonna head out and see Dad at the site of the new house build, and we're gonna have a discussion with him about some of the issues he's been facing, what's going on. Talk to him, uh, you know, how was Christmas? I haven't seen him since before Christmas. Let's go visit Dad. Oh, settle down, buddy. Settle down. Well, here we are, 2024. Start of another year. I don't know, after my house burnt down, I don't know, uh, there's what we've got so far, but it's over a year. December 11th was my house burnt down. And it's going to be way into the, uh, probably June before I ever get in here, because yeah. there's not much done. I was going to say summer. Now, last time I was here, they were just working on the siding. So is the siding done now? Oh, well, look at the soffits. Well, come uh, the, show me. Okay, well, I'm going to show you here first. I had to fight to get these contractors to telephone in here with Bell India because I don't believe there's a Bell Canada anymore. How many people, and they put the telephone on the pole in the middle of the driveway instead of down in the basement so the contractors could use it because here you have no cell service. Finally, after several calls, I finally get somebody to come all the way from Huntsville to put that in. He says, I came from Huntsville today, which he had, they told me he wasn't going for whatever. It just, it's so screwed up, it's unbelievable. Anyways, I show the guy who's gonna dig the hole for the uh, hydro after that. I said, the line, and they put the line on top of the ground. The Bell telephone guy won't put it under the ground. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. You got contractors working here, driving machinery over it and- Well, snow removal, I'm, re I'm responsible to keep it open because if you insure a place, no matter where you go, you have to keep it open for fire service. And then they come along and he rips it out with a backhoe. So it's laying on top of the ground now. Yeah, that, we knew that was gonna happen. Oh yeah. And there's a the hydro line, which is sagging like that, which I never ever put in. And the hydro one, Kathleen Wynn's best friend, was uh, the rest of Ontarians, we had Ontario Hydro, uh, said that I have to lift the pole. No, I lift the pole, pardon me. I have to lift the line on the pole, see how it sags. And look how, the, how crooked the pole has been like that for three years. I never put the pole in and I never put the line in. That was all hydro, never cost me a penny. And as you can see on the pole here, it says Ontario Hydro. Yeah, so now they're, they're saying, claiming that dad owns this pole and line, and what are they going to charge you to? Well, I, they've got a hold of uh, the Altman boys, which is great, the neighbors, not to, to got to clear that all out, and they have to lift the line, and it's going to be a few thousand dollars. Yeah, and they, and want, they want me to pay for it. They want you to pay for it. But I think that the insurance... Pretty slippery here today. <laughs> but they tell me that's only because I had a fire, and it's a new installation. Well, the insurance should cover that. Though. Well, that's what anybody would think with one working brain cell, but. So there's the line the guy ripped out right yeah, there? Yeah, right there. Yeah. So I'm not calling, they can certainly get on. He said he couldn't even get the hole in the ground. And I said, oh really, this time of year? Who would think, yeah. who would think? They're lucky we don't have four feet of snow right now because that's usually what we have. Exactly. And Moors, dear Moors, they brought me my propane, but they've asked to have it hooked up. Uh, did they hook it up inside? They said, I said, no, who knows when. So I got to pay for that. Okay, so the siding wasn't done last time. Your fascia wasn't done. Did they fix that fascia on the side over there? Oh, there was they, a big they, bulge? Yeah, they fixed that. It was a big bulb out there. As you can see, the basement here, this can never be done this winter because it has to be all dug up. Mesh goes underneath there and then a special grouting goes on there, which is not cement because cement has lime in it and lime eats away ICF yeah. cement block, it eats away the foam. So that can't be done this winter, that'll have to be done in the no. summer. And you would never want to sign off and move in here because you'd, I don't think you'd ever see them again. 
they pick up all the mess of all the cement and everything they've poured, all the landscaping, everything. Yeah, there's a junk pile over there. Oh, and all the landscaping. So all these new houses are built with like a styro block. That's what dad's talking about. So you can't do cement over that. And of course, I mean, we're frozen rock solid right now. Even though today it's minus one, they're not doing any digging. They're not, there's nothing you can do up here from December until March in terms of groundwork. I mean, the siding that's here does look good. Roof looks good. I mean, it's, it's nice. And if you come to the back here, they just poured the cement a week before Christmas, which I'm always leery about in cold weather, but they put accelerant in here to put this deck on here. Now, as you can see, the deck is nice. It comes along here to the edge. Yeah. But here's one thing. Here, there's a few things wrong that's just poor, poor workmanship. I've asked three. Wow. Jeez, so <laughs> I see. As you notice on here, every one of a treated board that's ever put on an outside. Those need to be. They have to be painted over with, yeah. it's called end cut. Yep. And they didn't do that, I asked three times. It looked to me like you didn't even know what it was. Yeah, you can't leave an open sod board like that. No, that's, that's just one thing. Look here, look at the beam. And when they laid out these sauna tubes right here, yeah. one, two, and three, yeah. they never put them in line because they're steel pieced right here, which you see, which was put on after. It's supposed to go dead center to distribute the weight. <laughs> well, of the I deck. can see you've got one block on the far right side, the next block's on the inside left, and then the last the other one goes on the, out the outside. On the outside again. So, yeah, you're right. They're not. I said up. to the guy, What kind of a job is that? Well, that's fine, he says. I said, Who are you trying to justify that to yourself or to me? Because, no. I worked with a lot of guys, worked construction, whatever, for a lot of years, and you run them dead center down to distribute yeah. the weight. And in this day and age with laser tools and everything, it's not a hard thing to do. I mean, the guys used to do it with the string, right? Like, <laughs> well, that's what you use. No, but I'm just saying there's no excuse in this day and age. It's just poor workmanship. Yeah. And the, the type of materials. Oh, up Have here. I mentioned before, you got a nice size deck? Yes. <laughs> But as you'll see here, then they've covered over top of stuff that's been cut, which is unbelievable how, how anybody doesn't have a clue. If you look, this board came down this string and look, it's over top of that. So how do you ever get that How are you going to stain that one? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or any of these pieces in between. Now, if you look up here, isn't that a wonderful cut? That 45 was just a beauty, thing of beauty. Yeah. That is just terrible. And as you see, he cut this piece here. He can't use a tape because he couldn't measure to see where the heck they're all in line. So he's cut this top piece here too short because here it doesn't go back to the wall. You can get in there and take a look at that. Yeah. That just peeves me. Poor craftsmanship. So they're short on And then he puts a screw in the top to pull it back to the brand new siding, which yeah. looks just like a bungle job. Okay, screwed right into the brand new siding. That's ri ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And if you had to hide one, you would hide it down in here. Yeah. But you don't even need one. But that's going to be changed because I'm calling the insurance company and that I'm not putting up with the type of work that I get that is just bogus. It's no, it's all the little things. You got to be here every day and on them or they'll oh, try I, to get away with I it. I have babysat for over a year. As you see out here, I have one plug-in outside. Yeah. No more. Yeah, that's kind of... Now, I, I always had two on my other deck, two outside exterior plugs. Well, also, hey, right there, that reminds me of something you told me before. What were they not going to put in your basement you had to go back and fight for? We're going to show you that. Well, there's still only one plug in a 50 by 30 basement. One no, no, plug. no, I'm not talking plugs. I'm talking right there, what you're looking at, it, right oh. there. They weren't going to put any windows in his basement. No, no, I had to fight. He had to go back and fight with them and tell them, well, I had four windows in my old basement. No. And by fire code, you have to have windows. National F NFA, I don't mean the National Firearms Association. The National Fire Association insists that you have windows in your basement as a safety, safety item because if you ever have a fire in your stairwell, you've got to have a way to get out. But this basement is dug so deep 
that you'd never be able to get up without a ladder to get out of it because they dug it too deep. I'll well, show you. You'd have to go back to the gym and start doing some pull-ups there, Mr. Reed. I'll have to do some pull-ups all right. Well, the only pull-up... You'd be better off be wearing a pair of pull-ups on the fire overhead. I was going to say, the you're getting into are the kind you pull up your over your arse. <laughs> well, hey, isn't that nice? They gave you a plug right there. One, I had two before. Yeah, underneath, when, and where are the steel pieces? I didn't have them before, but I don't know if that... I heard that that might be a thing of safety where you put the, uh, the snow angles on the roof to keep the snow from coming off. Uh, chevrons, yeah. They're called chevrons? Yep. Back from my roofing days in college. Thank you for bringing that painful memory up. Now, I did want to show you guys... Whoa! <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the heat pump that, if you remember during hunting season, they were going to hook up for them. Well, it's, it they've started to work inside. It goes right here on this side. There it is. Beautiful. Thing of beauty, isn't it? It's No, they've run... They have the, These two guys that come from down south... They have, it looks like a very nice job they're doing down there. Okay, so they ran the work on the inside, they just didn't mount it on the yes, outside. Yes, and I guess they're not done here yet, and I don't know, whatever. But there's our dear old telephone that uh, Bell India can't put uh, under the ground, because one guy says, oh, I, that's for the next guy. I don't stick it under the ground. I called her, she says, we have to call a third party to dig the hole. I said, call the shovel, ma'am. I know you don't understand what I'm saying, but they never, I don't think Bell can ever put a line any more than six inches down. No, it would be a third party that's going to dig that. Well, they're, they're not going to do it manually. They're going to bring a machine in. No, have you ever seen a, a bell guy with a shovel? I didn't think so. Yeah, but they don't go deep. Doesn't matter. I've never seen one with a shovel. Okay, now should we finally got a key two weeks ago to lock everything up. But as you see here, well, really been fixed. Lots. I noticed that, and when I was oh, here in the fall, I was... Yeah, it's been there for weeks. They still haven't fixed it. Now this is the thing I wanted to talk about. I know you were saying that they've on, Janice. put these stairs here and fixed it properly for you, but let's look at that beam. Oh, we're going to look at the beam. See, this here is much nicer. I asked for this because when you have a kitchen living room split, it's very simple to see. But here they put the stairs down here. The, the stairs here was over here, but as you look, it would break. It would make my living room very tiny. And where do you have most of all of your furniture? Is in your living room. Your kitchen basically has one piece of furniture in the, in the center. Table and chairs, everything else is around the outside. All right, so when we were here in the fall, guys, I showed you that they had the stairs were right here. And then, like Dad's saying, you would come up and you lose this. He's already bought two sectional couches that he wants to run, one on that chairs, wall. Chairs, One on this one. Um, anyway, let's look at this beam here because... Oh, the beam? Yeah. To me, that was never right either. Well, here's a pump room in here. It's a pump room, yeah. And in here you'll see... There's a hole in the wall from outside that they put to put the line in there. They, so they came up on a 90, yeah, up to a 90, another 90 to come down and go into a... Oh, pump. right. They were dropping his line down and then over, which makes All no sense. All the way sense. up, four 90s to go into a pump. Where like, and this still isn't right because it came under the footing. And now look at this up there like a... If you'd look to where mine used to be, come yeah. in on top of the footing, so it comes straight into a pump. Yeah. Which anybody with any little knowledge on it. And in here we have a 50 by 30 basement. Wonderful. So look, it's so high. Those windows are really high. Like, I mean, you would, how would you ever jump up there to get out? You, you would, you'd have to work at it. Work at it. Oh. Well, if there was a fire burning around me, I might try my damnedest. Let's put it that way. And here we have all posts and beam. I asked where the jack posts were because why do they make jack posts for basements? To make adjustments. Oh, no, you'll never need that. So they put these here because it's a basic thing of nickel and diamond people. These are $50 a piece. Yeah. But here we have, oh, here's a very nice boiler system. Oh, I did want to look at that. Is that a Renai or what did they give you here? No, Naveen. Very Navian good one. or something, I don't know. Yeah, it's a little bigger than the Renai that I had before. And they put your expansion tank. When, it, when I moved into my house, they didn't even put an expansion tank in. I had to pay $2,000 to get the guy to come back and run external pumps on my board. 
and put an expansion tank yeah, in. I believe so. these guys are doing a nice job. There's something that's, yeah. Yeah, so this part here looks like, okay, you know, they, they're getting something kind of right. That's different guys. <laughs> that's, uh, I'm here up to see you see all your. Yeah, you're in floor lines, yeah. But here in this basement, there is only one plug in. It's here for a 50 by 30 basement. That's only one plug. One plug. That's ridiculous. You need to complain about that. Well, complain. I have to scream about that. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah, no, that makes, look at all this space and he's got one plug. No, that's and here not you have acceptable. The, here you have the bowling alley, the downtown Redbridge bowling alley. Perfect. We could put three pool tables in here. You could, but, and here's your in-floor heating, but, no, pardon me, here's what you're talking about, my splitless duct, my mini duct for my air conditioning yes, and my heating. there's the line. Here's okay. the one line here. So run it. Here's the other line here. Now, I would have no idea why they've drilled holes in different things here, because somebody doesn't, see how they made some mistakes here? Yeah, well, that's that's minor compared to some of the yeah, stuff. You don't start drilling stuff, but, but I'm just But that. again, it all adds up. Every little thing that's not right. Well, just enough to drive you crazy. But it's lots of room. That's so sure. where are we going to plug the 80-inch TV in over on this half, eh? We're going to have to run a pretty long well, extension cord, mm -hmm. I think, back over there. You have to put a little workshop someplace. So they're putting a, this, there's a partition going down here with a door. Right here. Like, are they done running the wiring? No, well, they might think, you know, are you going to run me some more plugs? Uh, I mean, Are you going to run some more plugs in there because that's your pump room? <laughs> that's crazy. Maybe they're not done. Maybe they're going to give you 15 down here. Who knows? Well, they, for they simply forgot one thing. They work for a company who subcontracts to electricians, to the plumbers, to whatever else. To the siding guys, but they forgot who the superintendent is. Ma, me. What I say has got to go. I mean, I, I'm not hard to get along with, but you got to do it right. Now, as you step into here, you'll see another quality piece of flooring here that's all bubbled up. Right here. Look at. See it better without the light. They got to. Oh. Yeah. Places like that that you have to. How uh, are you going to run flooring over that? Well, you got to remove it, sand it or something. But here, and if you notice when we came in, there's only one window looking outside where you used to have three. Yeah. And it's. And they didn't put it, they didn't even put. Okay, so wait, what's going on here? Now your closet used to be where the stairs was. Yeah, well, this is a closet. Oh, okay, so they've framed the closet here. Yes, okay. that's I where it should go. It. I yes. told them. Okay, that makes way because more there sense. was wasted space here because they didn't build the closet right across. And it was wasted space about three to four feet. So right. I no, don't do that. Put it here. Put that there, and then we're happy. I'm happy with that to change it because it had to be changed, or no way. But yeah, oh yeah, they were. Yes, they were thinking about putting the bathtub in the pantry here. That's what it was. But mistakes are made. And something here that I looked at and I noticed what is very different. I said, what, what's different here? Look here. See, they put the plastic here. The yeah. strapping is underneath. Over yeah. there, you got the plastic there and the strapping on top to hold it up. <laughs> so Tuesday it was strapping over the plastic. Wednesday it was plastic over the strapping. Yeah. And in my other house, I had insulation on every interior wall. It's all good for separate yeah. heating for rooms and sound barrier. Yes. They well, in here that? I said to him, well, look at that. I said, there's no insulation. Well, we didn't know that, that you had that. Well, anybody that built a house of quality or whatever, my other house was better quality than this house. It, uh, it had insulation in every interior wall. Well, let's wall. just talk about that for a second. That's the problem with the system is when it goes out to a bid, you had two bids for the rebuild on this house, and there was a $200,000 difference. Absolutely. So... What's going to happen when, of course, the insurance company is going to go with the lowest bid and then you get all of these issues that you're having right now. Well, the one bid was 485000 I believe. I can show you on the paperwork because I received paperwork for, uh, by First General. And the next bid was 650000 by Service Master. And I asked them all about that. How could there be a possible $200,000 differential? Oh, they said we figured Service Master didn't want it. No, I said I think they were going to give me a job with everything back as... For instance, look here at that window. That's a six-foot picture window. Yep. I had an eight-foot. Yeah. Oh, they'll nickel and dime you. 
the nickel. And uh, what's all this insulation here? It, oh, it's a little too wide to put in there? Tear it in half. Have you signed up on Amazon for that? They had a great Christmas deal. I think it was 12 packs of Vaseline. Yeah, and, and uh, some... You'd be a prime candidate for that some, deal. And some softening lotion, I'll tell you. Cause <laughs> here's one bathroom here. As we said, the, I don't know if the bathtub's going to go into the pantry or not now, but I guess we'll keep it here. Toilet, vanity, bathtub. I'm just looking at the amount of work that has not happened here well, in the last two months. Well, how could you be moving in here in February? They told me I was going to be here in September, but I just forgot to ask, what year? Yeah, I know. Okay, another bedroom here, nice fair size. Closets, closets. Another bedroom, bigger. And this is my master bedroom over here. And then there's a walk-in closet here. Well, yeah. That's a master bedroom. Well, that'll be good size. I swore I heard something in here yesterday when I came in. That's ghosts. It could have been a spirit, because I've got along with most of them here over the years. How they ever came here, I don't know. We've but, all agreed over the years that Dad's old house was definitely haunted, and I suspect that building a new house on this property ain't going to change that fact. <laughs> well, I guess they like to have a new spot as long as we make it comfy. But I can live with them. Now this is my 2 plus 2 door. Yeah. I had a 6 foot before. I got a 6 foot again. But this is a used door. They got you a used door. Yep. It's either that or put a cheap one in from Rona, they said. I said, that isn't what I had. I had a six foot Renaissance two plus two most expensive door. What? It's, it's. Now, here's what I'd like to look back on the deck. What is this? Do you, maybe you know. Why? This piece of steel was there all along, covering over top of where the joist hangers go to run your joist out. Would they not cover that? Uh, mine has wood right up to the door. I don't know anybody that doesn't. <laughs> I don't know anybody that doesn't either. But I mean, anybody would come over here and start screwing screw nails down like that. Look at that. There's a good shot of it. Nail right into the new siding. Yeah. Not a clue. Window here, right there, don't ask me why, is bigger than the other two windows in the other bedrooms. And it's pointing north, where you always want all your big windows pointing to the north country. Ice cold, while well, you want them in the sunny yeah, south. You want them in the complete opposite. Big windows and patio doors to the south up here, guys. That's the general rule. I can't believe they gave you such a tiny window here in the kitchen as well. Oh, well. You got your cupboards to it. No, that guess, window's yeah. fine by me. So your sink is here, and then you got one little window sink. to look out and yeah, see. Yeah, you got one window there. When the one Jehovah's are coming, you'll see them there. But no problem with the Jehovah's, the Catholics, the Protestants, the Mennonites, anybody. They're all welcome to come here. Have a drink? Well, I don't know if they want to have a drink or not. They'd probably drink more you'll, than I do. You'll drink with anybody, eh? I'll drink with anybody, <laughs> sure. But it's sure getting froggied up in here. And yeah, condensation. And you got to watch that because that'll be running right down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No doubt. But <laughs> no heat source in here all winter. How come they don't have heaters in here They do here have right now? heat source. They come, they start it up. And it's electric blower that runs off a generator. Right. So when they're not here for five days, there's nothing but frost and winter That's right. cold. That's right. Now, tell me something. What is this? Uh, looks like it's going to be a plug. He said something that they put that there for a TV. Um, cable box, maybe? Like where your, where your cable line is? I don't oh, know. I don't know. They don't know cable But here. you wanted your TV on this one. Well, no, is that going to make any difference? So I'd go from there and put it here, if that's what that's for? What? Now that you've got a full wall here, no, it's not going to. But when the stairs were coming up there, it wouldn't have yes, worked. Yes, of course. So now that will work. Yeah, yeah. So I guess the thing to think about, which you never realize until you have a fire and old disaster breaks, because I mean, it's 
It's aged me this year, I'll tell you. Yeah, I mean, the insurance company down south was really good to me. They told me it didn't matter where I stayed, this and that, how much money it cost per month. They had to look after me and this and that, so. Staying up here was okay, but the thing is, you should ask. You don't realize that these insurance companies, they get all kinds of jobs to the companies that are sent by the insurance company. The company here was sent by the insurance company. The contractors. You contractors. Know. Because they guarantee you more stuff on your house and more guarantee for this and that and whatever for how many years. And But the thing is, they get so many jobs, they don't show up. I've seen them not show up for three weeks at a time. And they promise on the paperwork, it said, start date May the 1st. And I was supposed to be in here in September. Well, they just go to another job or they wait on materials or yeah. this or that. I mean, there's nothing guaranteed around here. That'll there, take you there was off. also a delay in the beginning where the insurance company hadn't made payments to these guys, too. No, that was the insurance guy up here. He forgot to put it in. He told me that was Again, his. Again, no, that's a mistake. So. It was a mistake. He told me I made the mistake. He said, not me, him. He had made the mistake. They only did it once a month. And so they didn't have their money. So they weren't coming to work because they didn't have the money. Again, who gets the... And I get the brunt right, of it all. you take the brunt of that. When I walk a little crooked more with that every day. And as we're heading out, we notice... A dent in the door. A dent right there. If somebody's kicked it or whatever. They should have never put the fold the good door on here to begin with because I've looked over here. And if you open it to here... Hey. And look up here. It's, it's only small, there's but there's... some damage there, yeah. What's yeah, that? It's all damaged here. Like that, don't cut it. And whatever happened... Dude, to, I'd, be, I'd be asking for a new door. I'm not even joking. Like I'm the, not either. What happened to... Just a half moon window like before? I was going like to say, before. you got no window either. Yeah. yeah, well... Yeah, but... Just so you got some light coming in. Just so you can see who's out there. Yes. You don't want a full-size window down here so somebody can punch it out living here in the country and reach in. You want to know who you're going to be drinking with before you open the door. Exactly. If she looks all right, let her in. If she doesn't, well, just pretend you're not home. Go lay on the bedroom floor with the door closed? <laughs> yeah, that's the best thing to do. Well, snow's coming now. So you're definitely not getting in until July, I don't think. Here we are, it's actually Wednesday, we should mention. It's Wednesday, probably about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Nobody's here working. Where are they? It's 9.10. That's the 3rd of January, 2024. Well, I may have had to edit out quite a bit of cursing and heavy sighs and frustrated oh, groaning. Yeah, Dad's still pretty stressed about the whole situation and I can't blame him. Uh, this is it's at the point of He's not getting in there till summer. Let's be honest about what's going on because even if they finish the house in a month from now or six weeks or whatever He's 70 years old. He's not going to be moving stuff into that place and getting it set up in the winter with ice and snow it and oh, it's not gonna happen so anyway guys, that's the that's the dad update He tells me he did have a good Christmas. He was over at Grant's um, so but he's pretty stressed out.